Hello, this is Pot again. Um, right now, we're going to talk about the basic button. Uh -huh. It's continued from the basic animation. So you will see the from the previous show, right? You have a basic animation, and now what we like to do, uh, we like to control the animation by creating button. In Director, you can use almost anything, any object text, graphic, images, and define as a button. So in this particular case here, uh, we're going to use a preset in director as a button. Okay, now we stop that. Uh -huh. So in order to make a button, we will have to work with a few things here. For example, um, we will work, have to work with the lingo script. The first Lingo script here is on this window. Uh, if you click on the show and high effects channel, right, is it going to toggle between show and high? Uh -huh. When you high, however, it's still showing the Lingo script window right there. Uh -huh. So right now, I like to talk a bit more about the option here. What you have, the first one is tempo. Uh, when you look at the tempo, right, it's a stopwatch icon. So you're going to see a tempo. The basic tempo default at 30 frames per second. You can change it to, you know, 35 frame, 34 frame, or 25 frame by clicking on that. Uh -huh. And then you can do also wait. Uh -huh. You can alter the time. You know, even though the Director going by timeline or by score running at 30 frames per second. However, at some point you might be able to want to stop longer so you can click on like waiting for like one second, two second, three second, four second, or you can even waiting for mouse click or key press something like you know. Uh, like waiting for mouse click or you can wait for the cool point, cue point like you can add the cue point on your sound and when the sound play until particular cue point and you can trickle with that particular cue point in order to sing um, sound with certain graphic something like that uh -huh. so in this case here we're not using any of this so we cancel and then the second one, the color palette icon, when you look at it, right? So this is talking about the system palette of window, Macintosh, and also a different system palette, which is working as a 8-bit color channel. So in the past, this is really useful because you have to remapping your graphic into 8-bit. So this means you probably have to use a some utility like debubberizer um, to convert your 24-bit image into 8-bit image to ensure your application will be able to display on 8-bit monitor which is I don't think currently uh, anyone still using 8-bit monitor is uh, I think most of you already you know um, been using 24-bit monitor for a really long time since 2000 something yeah okay so we're not using that either so the third one is transition transition is uh, pretty much organized in like a uh, kind of transition like cover this call uh, this solve order push reveal stripe wipe so it's kind of primitive kind of transition but sometimes it's helpful it's like push you know um, you still um using have a chance to use this kind of transition sometimes okay but however at this point we're not using it as well and south channel we have two south channel uh south one and south two right both of them support stereo sound mpeg file aiff wave file so why do we have south two channel um, sometimes we have one of the music background in one channel and narration as another channel 
what about if we have more than south uh, more than two south channel of course dialectors still be able to accommodate more than two south channel if you like to do that uh, you can make your south channel as a movie and you know paste on the uh, spine member below here so we have 150 available right now and if you need more you can add more and the last one that the one we're going to use right is a lingo script so when we double click on it right when you look at the lingo script on the score most of the time you're going to use with something um, start with on exit frame because this is going to do with the current time indicator since the nature of director is when you start your movie is going to keep moving from the first frame to the last frame so that is the default so in some case here so that's why the script lingo script is starting with on exit frame okay let me point out a bit more on the script window here you can see lingo and javascript if you're familiar with javascript you can go ahead and use javascript so director support both lingo and javascript but if you decide to use either one right you have to keep using throughout your application something like that so in this case here i'm going to use lingo script which is the original script language for director scene it's begin the software 20 30 years ago okay now let's take a look on this one right on exit frame so one of the most popular one is on exit frame go the frame so when you type on this you're going to see um, the type is in blue and in green so if you type something wrong for example if you type if you type something like in this case here if i type something wrong so you see it's going to turn black so this is something that you can you know look at it and see oh this is maybe um this something wrong so i has press space bar so go the frame so that's mean now it's turned green and blue so it's correct uh -huh. And after that, so what is this script for? This script for like on exit frame, go to frame. That allow your current time indicator to stay on the current frame, you know. So when you start leaving the frame, it's go the frame. And what about, you know, uh, auto command you might use? You can go to alphabetical lingo and click on that and you see a bunch of list list by alphabet uh -huh. and also list by like all the dictionary is here uh -huh. but believe me uh, i've been using this for like 20 years and i haven't go that you know uh, more than 10 command on the program itself uh -huh, to create a decent multimedia application of course if you are a programmer serious programming you can go very sophisticated on this lingo script or javascript thing all right okay so now another button that i like to point out is this button the thunder is called recompile button uh -huh. so you can do the shift f8 or you can hit on that so to compile that or another option you can hit enter on the lower right corner of your numeric keypad as a compile button as well so i did that so this button right uh will let your current frame okay if i'm doing this right rewind and play so now you see the current time indicator do not moving because that is the current frame uh is have the script on exit frame go the frame on frame one so that's why it stayed right there but what about if i move it to somewhere so it's like for example i move on exit frame go the frame to frame number five and then i stop rewind and play so now you can see it stop on frame number five right 
and now what would you like to do I like to add a button so in this particular case here I use the default button in the tools menu so I click on that and then add the button over there so now you have additional button there right and your button also show up on the cast window so right now you can highlight it if you like to you know so to make it different okay and also if you pay attention at your button a bit on the corner so you have uh, a white kind of white so i want to make it brown so i can go to ink copy and set background transparent so at this point here you can see the button is become round shape here right so if okay if if uh -huh, if i click the button right i want this going to continue to play animation so what i like to do right i like to click, select the button and then i'm going to define the button the functionality to the button how do we do that uh -huh. so let me zoom in a bit to 200 so now you can see a button closer uh -huh. and you see three icon one is the the icon about the component so this is consists of flash component and then the sprite right is give you the um the x y location the pixel dimension of your button and i set background transparency on ink i set the opacity blend to 100 percent if i set it like 50 percent you can see it's dropping on the opacity and also available from frame 1 to frame 30 and then i can you know set the background color to a uh, different color uh, something so in this particular case so I just leave it at the white right okay now what I like you to take a look here is this button right here this icon this icon is called behavior icon uh -huh. so this is how we're going to define the icon so first step when you click on the behavior icon right the behavior property inspector pop up so you select new behavior okay so you just name something that makes sense to you so i'm going to name this as a play button p l a y play so this is something that okay b t n uh -huh. right so this is something like uh just for yourself you know um something some name that makes sense to you and something that is remind yourselves you click ok and then you select on that particular button that you create right and click on the script window and then now the script is ready for you so it's default typing so now you have to type something so in this particular case here um you define this as a button right most of the standard user interface you trigger the button is on mouse up on mouse up mean when you click your mouse button and then when you release it right it's going to trigger action to do something okay so when you release your mouse you left your finger up so we call on mouse up so we type on mouse and then we can say go go to where um, you can go to frame f r a m e frame uh -huh. and then you can look at the frame you like for example right now i'm frame number five right so i like to go to continue animation so i like to go to frame number six so i just say okay go to go to frame go to frame 6 uh -huh. and then in and then you compile 
or you press enter okay now let's try rewind and play so let's show this at 100% right so now you see your button over there and then when you click on it okay so it doesn't doing anything yet so we have to do something on here if you look at your button here and you look at your flash right um, you will need to click on the event pass mode right it say pass always the default is pass never so let's say pass always now rewind and play okay so now you click so now you see when you click on it right it will go to frame number six by default um not by default by when you defy it as you defy it so now when it's come all the way to the end right it start looping so it's come back to frame number number one right okay so that is the idea uh -huh. now i'd like to show you one more thing okay so let's move this on exit frame back to the beginning right okay so now instead of instead of okay let me stop that and I go back to play button and select on that and click on script so now you have another option go to frame six right so this mean uh, it's go to frame number six you got to remember what is it but instead of go to frame now i'm changing to go to something that make more sense go to certain name right so in this case here i say go to play uh -huh. and put the code on it right put the code on that go play and then enter so this is something that you defy as a marker name so this means where you want to put the marker play on right for example i like to put on the frame number five right here so what how to create a marker so you just click on the top part right here so the new marker pop up right and you can name as you pay p l a y play uh -huh. so doesn't matter you can do with uppercase lowercase or just or lowercase on that so the this defy is as a prey so you can add as much as marker you like and you know to refer to different position or if you don't like you can move your marker allow or you can if you don't if you want to delete it you can just drag it and throw it up so it's gone okay now let me rewind and pray so now the first frame is start on exit frame go to frame and then I'm click on that so it's go to frame play so it create the animation all right and I like to point one more thing to make this button look like a real button right so when you roll over your button and click your mouse and you release it right you probably want to have icon changing somehow so in this particular case uh, I go to animation interactive right go to library animation interactive and you scroll down to one of my favorite behavior is called low over cursor chain and use by dragging and drop to that okay the default is finger so you have a list of different cursor icon so in this particular one okay i go with finger and i click okay and now let me y and pray so when I roll over, you realize the button is changing to um, the cursor changing to a finger. And then when you click on it, so you will see it's going to play marker and it's playing your animation. Okay, so that is it. So this is the way you create the basic button and you can define any objects you know as a button